Hello everyone, this is Wajiha and welcome to my heart. This time I'm going to show you how I cook this beef nihari. <laughs> Delicious loaded, enjoy watching. Here are the spices that I'm going to use for my beef nihari. If you watch my other video which is nihari chicken, I use there the ready-made nihari packet. But this time I make the spices manually. Let's start with cumin seeds, green cardamom, black cardamom, and cloves. We have also here um, black peppercorn, cinnamon sticks, bay leaf, then the powders, red chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, ginger powder, and nutmeg powder actually I really amazed with these spices I thought I would not like this but it works now I just mix all these spices into the grinder and it should be torn like this other ingredients needed are beef chunks chicken broth cubes instead of salt the sliced onion I dip it fried first it should be like this ginger garlic paste I also need fresh ginger for my garnish and green chili in a medium heat I started to put four tablespoon of cooking oil I slowly added the beef just be careful from spatter of cooking oil and stir fry for about five minutes or until it changed color and then add the mixed spices Also the ginger garlic paste. Cover then simmer in a low medium heat till beef is tender and the spices loosen from the meat. I added 4 cups of water. If the water starts to dry out too fast, there should be enough water in the pipe to cover the meat. Then let it boil the meat to well done up to 2 to 3 hours. Well, if you have pressure cooker, you can easily cook this within 1 hour. While cooking my beef nihari, I make myself busy by making roti. Roti is a flat bread combined of wet flour and water into a dough. Honestly, until now I'm not good enough for making this. But I really wanted to learn, so I keep trying. My husband really loves this kind of bread. And I like it too, it's freshly made by myself. Look, I'm trying to make it round, but it's not that easy for me. My husband said it's okay if this is not round. It's about the taste and the softness of this bread. It is really fun doing this. So after flattening the dough, I flip in my wrist like 20 times to make it more wider and thinner. I don't know if this is the reason. Well, it works for this roti. Then I cook like this. No oil, no butter, just simple like this. I am satisfied to see my roti when it pop up like this. Look. Don't worry, my gas stove is clean before doing this. I also have standard in my kitchen for cleaning and sanitizing. I adapt from my previous work. My roti is done so let's go back to my beef nihari. Mmm, smell delicious. In between from 2 hours, I need to check and stir to avoid burning from the bottom. And just continue cooking in low heat. Well, I love stirring every couple of minutes. Then, finally, I added the fried onions. And I slowly added the mixture of flour and water. This mixture makes the sauce become viscous. Then cook for another 15 minutes in a low heat. And this is it. My super delicious beef nihari. Looks so beautiful and yummy. I cooked this for the first time and I think I will do it again. I am so excited to eat this. How about you? What are you waiting for? Come on! Fire up your stove, gather the ingredients, and let's do this. I really hope that you enjoyed watching my video. 
please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and keep safe everyone.